Okay, guys, my viewers have been on point with me, right? You've been checking out the funeral scammer videos, and they've been reporting to me from all over the country where they see them. And here in Las Vegas, if you see them, please report on this video. Post a comment. I know what you're doing. Video Bob is exposing you. Now, I just saw that there was a comment that said they were over on Tropicana and Eastern. It's only a few miles from me. I'm gonna run over there and see if I can catch them. I'm not interested in hurting you. I know you're I'm not gonna hurt you. That's not my point. I just want to talk. I understand. I know you come to the country, you need to make money. And I want to help you. But what you're doing is wrong and it's going to have to stop. You're going to have to do something. You do have a problem. Your, your, your family has a problem. I don't, I, don't want to, I don't want to cause you problems. These guys cause problems. We need to fix it. How you guys doing? You're back. You're back this time. Remember your friend that punched my car? Remember that guy? We're gonna find him. And whatever you do, don't throw rocks. You're not gonna be coming back here to Vegas any longer now. I don't want you out here on this corner with your scam any longer. Taking money. Let's go for a walk. We're gonna walk you all the way back to Moldova or Romania or wherever you went. I'm not gonna make any kind of a threat to you. I'm never gonna lay a hand on you, but I am gonna take your picture. And remember your buddy that punched the hole in my car, that guy? I'm gonna need that dude. We're gonna need him. So here they are, the, uh, the funeral scammers. They've been back up here on Tropicana and Eastern here in Las Vegas, right? They, uh, they asked for money for a funeral for a child that doesn't exist. They've been doing it for years now. I've been tracking them now for years. And uh, these guys, they've attacked me many times, right? They've thrown rocks at me. Woman clawed me and punched me in the face. One of their other guys punched the side of my car, put a dent in it. They've attacked me lots of times. Here comes the dude with the minivan. There's the minivan right there to pick him up. So here they are getting in the minivan. This is one of their mini white minivans, right? They always drive a Toyota Sienna van. Every time. Get in the van, go ahead. I know what your van looks like. Get in the van, go ahead, get out of here. You don't gotta hide from me. It doesn't matter. We all know what your vans look like. I know your Sienna vans, I know your Kia van. I know all your license plates. I know where you live. So you don't even got to hide from me. It's not even, there's no point. I got a whole team of people. I've got all my viewers, millions of viewers out there reporting on every one of you scumbags.
See, because this is way beyond a Karen. See, there's people in the comments that go, hey, why don't you just leave them alone? Let them do their hustle, let them do their scam, right? Because this is my home. And they're invading, these foreign invaders came from Moldova or wherever they came from. That's where they said they were from. They snuck in through the border of Mexico. They, 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 they're human trafficking all over my, my country and, and Oklahoma, Fort Worth, McAllen, California, all through Las Vegas, Arizona, right? They're not hardworking people. They're scumbags. They run scams. There they go. There they go. Okay, guys, so, you know, I'm hot. I'm hot, meaning that they know me when they see me. Doesn't matter what car I'm in. They know, I, even if I try to disguise, I'm going to have to try to come up with a disguise. As soon as they saw me, they knew what was up. Now, the guy that was driving the white van, he doesn't. He didn't really know who I was, and I was trying to talk with him and try to discuss with him. Um, I said, look, if we could just get everybody together and have a conversation, right, maybe we can uh, come to a resolve. What I'd like to do is talk to the people and say, listen, can't be doing the scamming. Panhandling is one thing, but you, you, this is what you're doing is an outright scam. Maybe we could come to a compromise, right? Maybe there's a pathway for you to maybe uh, get some kind of legal job or go straight, but you can't keep doing this. We're not going to let you do it. We're not going to let you do it, okay? But there has to be a compromise because from their point of view, they're, they're people coming here from another country. They need to make a living. They don't have a pathway to get a regular job because they're not citizens probably. They don't have green, I know that, the, I've talked to some of them and they've said, yeah, we snuck in, we came from Moldova, they snuck in through Mexico, we're here without papers and we need to make a living. So in their eyes, they're desperate and they don't mind lying and doing whatever it takes. And, and in their culture, if I can say that, these type of scams are kind of acceptable to them. They just grown up around them and they need to be, told that that's not gonna fly here in the United States, in America or in Las Vegas or in any, any of these other places. We're not gonna let it happen, okay? We're not interested in letting them do this. So I said, look, let's have a little meeting. Let's have a little powwow. Let's discuss things. No police, no violence, right? I'm not gonna hurt you or anything. You're not gonna do anything to me, but we have to come to a compromise. But he wasn't willing to do that, but he didn't speak very good English. And the, English, the, the language barrier is a big problem. And I don't know what language they speak. Now, they seem to seem they seem to be able to speak some kind of Spanish. I'm going to see if I can't team up with somebody here in Vegas to team up with me. Maybe we can speak Spanish to them. But their English is very broken. But I don't know if they're they're reasonable at all. I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt that they're human beings. Um, because I'm sure on a personal level, like you know, if you're over in Italy or Spain or something, or uh, and and you were to corner a pickpocket and have lunch with them. Because I've watched a documentary of that, right? You know, like, they're seemingly nice people, but for, for a living, they steal from people. And to them, that's perfectly okay. We need to let them know that that's not going to work here. So if you like this content, make sure to turn on your notifications and subscribe because there's going to be a lot more, right? Because with all of your help now, uh, every single day, I'm told exactly where they are. All of my fans, you know, uh, my analytics on YouTube show me that Las Vegas is one of my most watched cities. So people report daily to me where they are. And that's how I track them. That's how I find them. People comment. They send me private messages. They comment on the videos. And they go, they're right now. They're here. They're there. And Las Vegas is only 25 miles wide. You can be anywhere in the city in 20, 30 minutes in the middle of the day. So people are saying, how you find them? That's how I find them. That's it. And I encourage you to go out and, and, uh, Come out there with me and, and record them. Put the camera in their face, but just be aware that they're willing to punch you, claw you, kick you, uh, and maybe worse. And you can rest assured that I'm protected, but I don't want that to ever happen, that I have to protect myself. So far, they haven't been too violent. They're smart enough to know better. All right, stay tuned. We'll see what happens. We'll be back at it tomorrow. No. <laughs>